Well, good evening, everybody. How y'all doing? Pretty good here, and welcome to the channel. I am uh, driving on my way home from work, and it's it's getting dark. Plus, the windows are tinted, so you know it gets a little darker inside here, uh, quicker than it does out there. But anyway, I was thinking, you know. How is this thing to daily drive? I'm in the uh, 2017 Toyota Tacoma Sport, and uh, there it got dark. How is this thing to uh, daily drive? Can you daily drive this truck? Well, the stupid short answer is, well, of course, you can daily drive a dump truck if you want to, right? And that's not what I'm talking about. Obviously, you can daily drive it, but how is it to daily drive? Is it comfortable? Or is it a pain? Well, I'm going to answer that for you. And uh, for me, you know, it's it's pretty darn good. There are some things that uh, I consider in what car I take, especially as a daily driver, depending on where I'm going and, you know, how long I'm going to be in the vehicle and all that kind of stuff. Don't you love when people are supposed to merge and they just match your speed, you know? They don't speed up, they don't slow down, they just get beside you and drive your speed. I don't know. But anyway, what do I look at in a daily, or for a daily driver, I guess? Well, first is comfort, you know, how's the seat? You know, if I'm gonna be sitting in this thing in rush hour traffic for an hour, an hour, um, I wanna be comfortable, you know? I don't want my uh, arse to start hurting because I'm sitting on a board, you know? I mean, it's the truth of it, right? I want to be comfortable. It is. The seats in this truck are very comfortable. No issues. You know, I had a, uh, a Civic Sport hatch a while back, and the seats in that vehicle, for me anyway, were not very comfortable. You know, if you'd sit in there for around an hour, hour and a half, started to started to bug you but this truck is comfortable no issues with that sight lines in this truck you know again I'm in rush hour traffic so I like to be able to see unlike some other drivers out there but I like to be able to see and uh, of course it's a truck you know I'm higher up in the air so that's uh, one positive right off the top right I mean I can see except for when I have what just went by, you know, a dump truck or something beside me, I can see pretty much everything. Uh, and I like that. Secondly, is there are there any obstructions from the truck itself in your way, you know? The pillars and the seats and the headrests and all that stuff. And some people have complained, I know, about the headrests. And, uh not being able to see out of the back. Now, you can see the headrests for sure, but they're spread far enough apart and the one in the center is low enough, well, you guys can see it right there, um, that it doesn't really obstruct me. Uh, I have a good clear view right in the middle there of, uh, of what's behind me and uh, no real issues seeing out of this truck. It just makes it more pleasant to drive. I mean, if I wanna change lanes or whatever, I don't want to have to stick my head out of the window to be able to see who's beside me, you know? So it's fine as far as that goes. Fuel economy, well, you know, right now I'm getting, let's do a real-time check. I'm getting 20.4 miles to the gallon. It's not fantastic, but it's not horrible. It's just low-end okay, but still not bad. Um, the technology in this truck I've talked about before, it's got everything in it that you'd want. I mean, I can listen to satellite, I can listen to AM, I can listen to FM, I can stream music, um, I can sync my phone, I can talk on my phone. Uh, there's a million possibilities for apps, I guess, that you could add if you want to. Um, so it's not lacking in, uh, in tech in any way. I do like that it has a digital readout for the speedometer. That's just more of a picky thing, but it does have it, and I like that. You don't have to look at a gauge um, to see how fast you're going. Kind of a dumb little thing, but it's nice to have. I like that. I think uh, I decided a while back that I would never buy any car again that did not have a digital readout for the speedometer in it somewhere, or at least one that you could select, you know. 
and uh, and I won't. That's a uh, a little minor convenience that I like, and uh, and I won't do without it again. Um, heated seats. It is cold here. It's I don't even know what is it. It's 47 degrees. It's not horrible, but uh, you know when you first come out, it is a little chilly, and it's nice to crank up the seats. The seats come up pretty darn quick. Um, and you're warm. I like that. Um, as far as uh, the power in this truck, it is a six-cylinder, and I forget uh, exactly what the horsepower is. Um, it's 200 and something. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Um, it's obviously not as powerful as an eight-cylinder Hemi, for example, um, but it will get up and go with you when you want it to. Um, I like that. Um, would I like more? Well, of course, you always want more. Even if it was a eight-cylinder Hemi, I'd want a little more. Um, some people have complained about the transmission. This is interesting to me. About the transmission constantly shifting. Um, I forget how many speeds this thing is. Eight seven ten whatever um, I don't notice that I don't notice that at all matter of fact it's it's been such a mystery to me that I don't even know what people are talking about there hasn't even been an instance where I've been driving the truck and got gotten a hint of uh, any kind of shifting thing you know so I don't know what people are talking about there um, if it's there, it doesn't bother me. I don't even notice it. So, um, as far as uh, back to the original question, I guess, does it make for a good daily driver? Uh, I wouldn't hesitate to get one of these if you're looking at getting one so you can uh, daily drive it or because you would have to daily drive it, whatever. Um, because it is comfortable, it does have everything in it you need, it does have enough power so that you don't feel lacking. It is four-wheel drive, so if you live in a uh, climate that, you know, has snow and ice and all that kind of crap, you're set. The only issue I have with it, and there's really two as far as from a daily driving standpoint, I guess, if you have to haul somebody in the back, there's no room in the back. I mean, if it's a short distance trip or commute or whatever, you'll be fine. But uh, unless you have a child or something back there, there is no room. Uh, if you're going to haul anything back there as far as groceries and stuff, uh, there is no room. Some people would say, well, just throw it in the bed, you know. Well, that's great, except for when it all blows out, bounces all over the bed, and starts raining. Anyway, just wanted to give you my take on uh, daily driving the Toyota Tacoma. As usual, appreciate you guys watching. Please, uh, Click subscribe if you haven't before, and we'll see you next time on the web. Have a good day. Bye.